How many types of endings can there be? Open ending, a closed ending, a traditional happy ending, a semi-traditional ending, a semi-traditional sad ending, an ending deus ex machina, an arbitrary modern ending, a suspense ending with a surprise, foreseeable, opaque, surreal, solemn, an ending looking at the camera, of an ending, an out of focus ending, an ap apocalyptic ending, and I've run out of budget, an ending, and I've run out of budget and finish ending, a director's ending because he or she finishes because he or she is tired. But let's not fool each other. Perhaps ultimately an ending is no more than just a superstition. Perhaps a story has neither a beginning nor an ending. It's only chosen arbitrarily. When you look forward or when you look back in time. Have you already chosen your moment in time? Let's commence. And we are at one of our very favorite film festivals in the world. The film has two auteurs. Le deuxième auteur, c'est le spectateur ou la spectatrice. J'espère que vous apprécie beaucoup avec l'univers que nous allons présenter. Le food est très bon. Et je me sens comme en casa. All here do agree that the magic of cinema is irresistible. You can laugh and you can cry. Y parece que reírse de las cosas es una manera de vencerlas también. Je remercie le, le Festival de San Sebastián pour sa fidélité. Thank you. So we're so pleased to be invited in such a big festival. If there is any hope for Afghan cinema, it will be now. He llegado hasta aquí haciendo camino al andar. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Gabon. Good evening. And welcome to the closing gala of the San Sebastian Film Festival. Once again, the San Sebastian Film Festival uh, looks ahead and keeps writing its own story. Although not in the best or most comfortable conditions, we keep going ahead without any prior parties and without enjoying being physically together, but representing this closeness through embracing films. And, and, if, and if 
And if there's a constant in this film, it's a participation and the loyalty of its audience. Thank you for your example, Eskari Casco. Let's commence this crazy carousel of prize awards. The Nest Award celebrates its 20th edition this year, and the award, due to its complexity, accurate portrayal, because it tells an enormous story with very little, is for the Croatian short film U Sumi, In the Woods, by Sara Grugrić. The jury awards a special mention to the film Podul e Patria Piatra Ponte Pedra the Artur for Bon Padre, uh, for the respect with which the character is represented and for gaining magic in each frame. The San Sebastian Festival launched the first European Latin America co production forum in order to promote audiovisual projects. The co production forum is aimed at projects under development and which may participate in cinematographic, cinematographic projects in Europe as well as in Latin America. This year's awards, the Articino International Prize, goes to Alemania by Maria Zanetti. The Dale Prize of Latin America is for the initiative Donde Comienza el Rio by Juan Andres Arango. And the prize for the best project of the 10th European Latin American co-production is for Camionero by Francisco Marice. The San Sebastian Film Festival promotes works in progress. WIP Europe and WIP LATAM once again this year aimed at promoting European and Latin American cinema productions and providing backing for films in their final stage. The prizes consist in the prose production of the film To a DCP with subtitles in Spanish and its distribution in Spain. The prize is awarded by the company Ad Hoc Studios, Deluxe Content Services Spain, Dolby Iberia, Laser Film, Cine and Video, Nephilim Productions and No Problem Sonido, as well as the distributors B-Team Pictures for Whip Europe and Sherlock Films for Whip Latam. And the Whip Europe Industry Prize for Europe is for Carbon by Jon Bors, produced by UBES. The winning film will also receive 10,000 euros for the major producer. <clears throat> the Department of Economic Development, Sustainability and the Environment of the Basque Country and Europa Creativa Media makes this recognition possible. To present the award, we have with us Tito Garcia of Laser Film Cine, Cine and Video. And to receive the award, we have the director and the producer, Jon Bors, and the producer, Sergio Kumatrenko. grateful to our cast and crew and also all our partners. Thank you for amazing festival team and for uh, this wonderful experience. It's an honor for our country to represent our film project here. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Good evening. This is the first time I've been in Spain, and thanks to the Google Translator, I am going to take the risk of speaking in Spanish. With an accent from Moldavia, Moldavia is a young country with emerging cinema. We create a tragic comedy, which is absurd, but is about our past. We hope que la guerra, that the war only in films, and we hope they'll only appear in films and there's peace throughout the world. Thank you to the selection committee for the end to this great festival.
the Ejeda Platinum Award to the best uh, whip, LATAM whip presented by Ejeda, the entity for the management of audiovisual producers' rights, is 30,000 euros for the major producer of the film. The jury has decided to award the film Vicenta B by Carlos Lechuga, produced by Cacha Films. The prize will be presented by Marta Etura to receive the prize, the director Carlos Lechuga. Thank you very much to the San Sebastian Film Festival, who never forgets about Cuba, thanks to the jury. My producer, Claudia Galvino, should be here. And that's the best uh, producer, uh, who's the best producer in Cuba. And Claudia, just, uh, uh, she's with her baby, she's just given birth at Cuba. And the, it's the worst moment of the pandemic. And Vicenta B is a film which is a tribute to my grandmother. It's the story of a mother who doesn't understand why on the island her son is not on the island at this time on the island. I've got several friends who have spent more than 80 de days in jail just by the fact that they think in a different manner. I want to dedicate this film that will be finished soon to all mothers, to grandparents, in grandmothers in Cuba since 1994 to now are trying to put a dish for, to eat on the table and now they have to add the great concern of trying to make sure their children don't go to jail. Cuba is becoming empty. A little while ago, I went to receive a vaccine, my vaccine jab, but there were only old people and mothers and grandmothers without uh, children. Their children, Spain, for always, and I'm not saying something, would, has always accompanied uh, Cuba. Let's not forget about the Cuban mothers. Thank you, and thank you very much for this award. The Whip Latin Prize for 2021 is for La Hija de Todas las Rabias, a film directed by Laura Baumeister and produced by Felipa. To present the award is Vanessa Ruiz Larra from Deluxe Content Services Spain, and to receive the prize is the director Laura Baumeister and the producer Rosanna Baumeister. I want to thank for this recognition. And I just want to mention something that I think everyone knows, and that's a film is a collective art. So I dedicate this award, especially to all of the collaborators, men and women, especially women from the production side and all of the departments, especially to Araceli Meral, who is the leading uh, actress who portrays Maria, who's an exceptional girl, that we discovered in a very adverse environment and who accompanied us in this project. And the truth is, we hope just she has changed our life. We can also put a little grain of sand in her life as well. Thank you. I also would like to thank all of the people who made it possible so that for this project with a lot of love and a lot of work and the women from different parts of Latin America. Bruna Haddad, my partner and producer, who's also here with us. And this festival, the truth be said, has welcomed us especially from the outset and we are very happy of having shared our project on the, a large screen for the first time and received all the feedback. So therefore, thank you very much. We're leaving and we're very happy. All of our Ibero-American films that make a contribution to human development, the eradication of poverty, and fully promote human rights, opt for the Spanish Cooperation Award. 
This award is the initiative of the San Sebastian Festival and the Spanish Agency for International Cooperation for Development, AECID. They present the award, the Director of Culture and Scientific Relations, Guzmán Palacios Fernández. The jury made up of Elena González, Ion Hernández, and Ainhoa Gainberry awards the AECID prize to Noche de Fuego by Tatiana Huezo for being a clear denouncement of the violence against women and the infringement on girls' rights, and achieving, thanks to its powerful cinematographic value, to make us feel the threat and fear without resorting to explicit violence. To receive the prize is the director Tatiana Hueso. Hi, good evening. It's a great honor to be here this evening with all of you. Thank you very much to the Festival of San, San Sebastian Film Festival, to the programmers for embracing our film, for having brought it to this beautiful venue. This film has been my first step in the world of fiction, I come from the world of uh, documentaries. And it's a testimony of what's happening in many uh, towns in Mexico. I want to thank the team, the cast and crew that helped me in this battle, who backed me up, and Nico Celisi, Jim, and Jim Stark, and all the producers, and everyone who formed part of the project so that we could tell this story. And that's all. I want to dedicate this recognition, beautiful recognition, to all the mothers who are bringing up their daughters on their own and who are, well, sowing seeds of hope and of equality. Thank you very much. Radio Televisión Española, Español, 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 Radio Televisión Española wishes to reward films directed, performed or written by women or also by men who convey a special sensitivity towards the different reality of women in their films. This ward aims to place a grain of sand so that any trace of discrimination, be it evident or hidden, disappears as soon as possible. And to present the award this year, we have Concepción Cascajosa, Ana Castillo, and Rosa Sofia. And the RTV, another look award goes to the film Noche de Fuego by Tatiana Huezo for showing with great emotion the open wound caused by the feminicides, feminicides in Mexico from the point of view of some girls growing up in a rural environment is marked by a, lat, a latent and lurking violence. Tatiana Hueso receives the award. Well, this is too much. They allowed me to take my mask off. Thank you very much to the jury for this beautiful recognition and another look award. And talking about looks, I must say that to make this film, I had a, the enormous challenge and beautiful and painful challenge of looking from the, uh, through the eyes of a little girl, looking from surprise and tenderness, but also from fear and impotence of being a witness of violence that every day affects thousands of women in Mexico. Thank you.
Again this year, the jury of the Irizar Prize for Basque Cinema has selected a winning film among the Basque films whose world premiere has taken place in one of the sections of the festival. With us to present the uh, us with us is the president of the jury, Aitor Arregui. Good evening. The jury made up by Edurne Portela Arenza Socalleja and myself has decided, first of all, because it shows an original perspective full of tenderness and humor and because it pays a tribute from the bottom of their heart that the special mention of the jury is for Quart Valley by Vaider Oleaga. Y por su narración sobre y contenida y sus interpretaciones conmovedoras. For na its narration and the simple contained narrative and moving performances for taking us on a journey to coming together, listening and repair, and for its outright condemnation of violence. The Iritha Prize for Bar Cinema goes to My Chabel by Ithiar Bolain. The award is, uh, will be uh, received by the producer of the film called Othua Thua. Thank you very much to the members of the jury of the Iritha Prize for this award and also how the film was welcomed in the San Sebastian last week and uh, it was a very special moment for the whole cast and crew. It was an unforgettable moment for our lives. So thank you very much San Sebastian and San Sebastian Film Festival. We wanted to dedicate this award to the group of men and women who 10 years ago initiated the restorative encounters, which was called La Via Lanclares, which was the beginning of, of a wager for coexistence and to repair the damage that has been caused in our society. Thank you very much. The public has participated once again very enthusiastically through its opinion. And so, therefore, to present the prize to the best European film with us this evening is Pucho, the singer of Vetusta Morla. Good evening, San Sebastian. The public prize the, for the best European film is for Wistreham, Between Two Worlds, by, in, by Emmanuel Carrer. The award will be received by Daniel Bajo of Karma Films. Thank you very much and good evening. First of all, what I would like to do is thank all the audiences that have filled up the film theaters here in the festival and, and especially to those people who have seen our film and have voted for us so positively. Manuel Carrer told me to convey that he's very happy to have received this award and to knowing that the truth be said, the people in Spain have felt moved by the film and in turn, in a certain way, it's been useful to reflect upon this issue. I would like to highlight at present the following, and that is that the best valued films uh, with highest votes this year have been films, independent films, or auteur films with independent distribution. And that makes us think the truth is it encourages us to continue and to forge ahead distributed by and distributing these types of films and knowing that there is an audience that enjoys and loves this type of cinema. 
and and it has to continue to be uh, screened in film theaters and shown in film theaters. Fast Television, the producers of the film, I want to thank them all, and to the whole uh, team of Karma Films, and I want to dedicate this award to my mother, who's going through a tough a moment, and I love you, Mum. Th bye. Thank you. As you know, the Donostia San Sebastian City Public Award has a second section, the prize for best film. To present it is Irene Escolar. Good evening. The prize of the public for the best film is for Petite Maman by Céline Siama. Enrique Costa will receive the award. Thank you very much. On behalf of Celine Siama, she wants to thank this award to the audience who filled up the Victoria Eugenia Film Theatre in its first screening and the atmosphere was very emotional for everyone who was there. And I also want to remind, remember at this moment uh, for all international film festivals such as the San Sebastian Film Festival, which is very, very important when distributing indie films in this country. Thank you very much.
Zabaltegi Tabacalera is the most open competitive section of the festival. There are no rules nor any restrictions in style or length. Short films, feature films, non-fiction films, animation, series, installations, etc. And all enter into the open and audacious field. And to uh, award uh, this, uh, uh, and to award this prize, we have with us the president of Giugio, the uh, director Sergio Oxman. Good evening. For the way it explores the possibilities of film material to embark on a story which questions the history of the conquest of America, the jury has decided to award a special mention to Eles Transportan a Morte by Helen Giron and Samuel M. Delgado. For the delicacy in which a cinematographic device brutally conveys the intimacy of a couple and the complexity of the characters who emerge and the courage of a director and the actors launching themselves together into the void. The Sabaltegi Tabacalera Award goes to Vortex by Caspar Noe. The award will be received by the director, Gaspar Noe. One, I remember my father said, age, getting old is not a joke. And I always thought that life was a joke. And I said, well, okay, I made a lot of, lot of funny films, but I decided to do a serious one. And I tried to make one. Dario Argento says, yes, I could bring the film here. Francois Lebrun said I could, uh, he wanted to uh, appear in the film. And, and the result... This, I'm very happy to have received this for, the, for them and for myself and for my father and my sister. And I want to thank the members of the jury for giving me this award to the producers, Van Song, the members of the jury, Sergio, Elena and Miriam, to my producers, Van Song and Eduardo, for having had the desire to finance this film that we invented without a script. It was just... We decided to make it in January and we shot it in April. And in May, it was, it was screened in Cannes and here. So therefore, less than nine months was gone by since then. The cast and crew was there to making a film. It is a collective effort. Lighting, sound, editing. And we did this all, it's an ensemble piece, and it shows life as it is. So thank you very much. The Horizontes Award wants to promote the um, learning about uh, feature films produced totally or partially in Latin America. Uh, directed by directors of Latin origin or have a framework or, or subject matter, Latin communities in the rest of the world. We have with us the president of the jury, Maria Zamora. Oh, good evening. Due to the sensibility and the rigor with which it addresses a painful and current issue such as uh, violence against women and its transition from uh, childhood to adulthood, the Horizontes Award is for Noche de Fuego by Tatiana Hueso. The award is received by Tatiana Hueso. Good evening. Hello again. Well, thank you very much to the jury. It's an honor to receive this Horizontes Latinos Award, Latin Horizons. Thank you to all of the people who jumped on board and supported me and backed me throughout uh, three years of work, intense work, in order to uh, make this film, especially to the girls 
to the whole cast that make up the film, which are extraordinary uh, young girls, and to to the ensemble of actors, that is, uh, the producers of different countries who also came on board, Brazil, Switzerland, from France, US, Mexico, undoubtedly. This work is belongs to all of you, and... I hope that cinema will return and make us look back to our childhood and to the childhood of our young girls and we can see them again, the girls that we were, the girls we are today and those that are still to come in the future because we want them alive. Thank you very much. An international jury gives the Kuchabang New Directors Award to the director or man or woman who presents their first or second feature film. To hand over the award, we have the president of the jury, Mary Burke. Good evening. The jury have decided to give a special mention to the film Karahita, directed by Silviana Schreiser and Ulysses Porra. The mention goes to the entire creative team behind the film, which beautifully and powerfully embraces the themes of class, motherhood, and corruption with biblical consequences. Um, um, and we also decided to give the honor of the new director's award to a film in which we see bravery, risk, and passion from a woman who has written, directed, and edited her first feature about the politicization of the female body at a time which, unfortunately, this is still very relevant. The award goes to Nietzsche, Unwanted by Lena Lenska. To receive the award, the script writer of the film, Ekaterina Perfilova. Hello, my name is Ekaterina Perfilova. Pardon. Buenas tardes. Disculpen. My name is Ekaterina Perfilova, and I am the co-author of the film. My name is uh, Karina Pervlova, and I am the uh, the author of the film, Ekaterina Pervlova. I, I can just imagine how happy Elena Lansky is, the director of the film, who unfortunately is not here today, but she's presenting our film, which is now being premiered in the city of Sochi. This award for us is an enormous inspiration and motivation to continue to do what we're doing now, to continue to recording and writing and filming and creating and writing and creating in something that we believe in. This Monday will be the premiere of the film Michia Unwanted in Moscow. And the most important uh, film theater in the city and and I will give this award on the main stage to the director, Elena Lansky. Thank you very much once again that you valued our, our work so highly and our film so highly. And once again, thank you very much.
And now we have come to the prizes of the official section. Let's receive the jury for this year with a big round of applause, Ted Hope, Susie Sanchez, Audrey Diwan, Maite Alberdi, and the president, Dea Colombe Gashvili. Let's commence with the best photography for this. We have with us Dea Kolumbish Gashvili. The jury prize for the best cinematography is for Claire Matton for the film Undercover. The award will be corrected by the director Thierry Peretti. Good evening. I'm very sorry. I can't speak in Basque. I'm going to speak in French, if you allow me. Thank you very much to the jury and the San Sebastian Film Festival for having a program screened for the first time, our film. It's the third time that I have the good fortune of collaborating with Claire Martin, who is the director of photography for this film. And with her, we've designed the images and the way we've, and the initiation of the staging of the film, which have been honored this evening. Claire is one of the most important artists in French cinema nowadays, and for French directors in, from our time as well. The film owes her uh, owes everything very much. And part of the cast and crew who are here in the room, Francis Maraval, for example, we feel very proud that the film has received this award. Thank you very much. As we mentioned in the opening ceremony, it's very important to be a to be the scriptwriter of our own life. So, therefore, the winner of the award to the best script will be received at the hands of Ted Hope. The jury prize for best screenplay is going to Terence Davies for Benediction. The director and screenplay writer, uh, Terence Davey, has sent us this video. I've just heard with enormous surprise and honor that you've actually awarded me the best screenplay award at the um, San Sebastian Film Festival. It was a lovely, lovely surprise, and thank you very much indeed for giving it to me. Thank you once again. It's time for the Silver Shell to the best supporting performance. To announce it, we have with us Maiti Alberdi. The Silver Shell to the best supporting performance is for the cast of Who's Stopping Us? Quien lo impide by Jonas Treba. The, re the award is received by Marta Casado, Javier Sánchez, Ronnie Michel Pinzaro, Claudia Navarro, Candela Recio, Pablo Hoyos, Silvio Aguilar, and Pablo Gavira. Good evening to all of you. We're very excited uh, for having received this uh, prize, not only for us eight, but it's also for more than 200 boys and girls who have participated in this project. We want to say that we're very pleasant, that we're pleased to receive this award because you're not uh, awarding it just to us because we're playing fiction 
characters. But with us imagining ourselves as fiction characters to telling our truth and to talk about things that we believe it's very important to listen to. And with this award, we feel that they are being listened to. We want to thank Jonas. Jonas, thank you for loving us, for for giving us everything you are, for listening to us and look at us the way you do and give us space so that other people can do the same as you. Thank you. And thanks also to the rest of the Iluso, Dulurena Turela, Javier Lafuente, Laura Renau for having confided and taking care of us. Thank you to Rafael Berrio. Thank you, Berrio, for being the first courageous person who was not stopped. And thank you for being an inspiration, not only the project, but in our day-to-day -day lives. Thank you. Thank you to the audience, to the, pro to the media, for the way it's being welcomed. Thank you for looking at us the way you're looking at it. Thank you for the festival, to giving us this space and to make a film which is not that evident. It's very beautiful for us just to be here. So thank you for the opportunity you've offered us. And thank you very much to our family, to our, our partners and our friends, because they've always confided and have been committed over these five years to us and to the project. <laughs> Who, no one can stop us. That's why we're here. We're now going to announce the Silver Shield to the best leading performance. For this, we are going to call the member of the jury, Susie Sanchez. Good evening. The jury has decided to award ex aequo to Flora Ophelia Hoffman Lindahl for their fil her film. Uh, as in heaven, and Jessica Chastain for the eyes of Tammy Faye. The award will be received Flora Ophelia Hoffman Lindahl and Jessica Chastain. dreaming right now. <sighs> I hear thanks to my parents for supporting me in everything I do. This wouldn't be possible without you. Mom and Dad, the best gift you ever get me uh, in my entire life is my sister. Thank you so much, Bella, my sister, for always giving me meaning in my life. Thank you so much to Yeti Taman for believing in me. Also, a big thanks to Trine Dürholm for always being willing to listen and guide me when it came to making the right choices. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> thanks to Motor, especially um, the producers, Lise and Jesper. Then, of course, a huge thanks to the whole team behind Us in Heaven. Thank you so much to Palma, um, who also took part in the film as Elspeth. Palma, I'm so grateful that we met each other, um, and I love you, and I miss you every day. And then at the last, I want to thank Tia, who is the director of Us in Heaven. Tia, thank you so much for everything you've done for me. <laughs> we didn't just create a professional relationship, but also a very personal one. So Tia, with all of my heart, thank you. I love doing what I do, and I hope that I'll be able to do it for long, at least. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, I have to say I'm so honored to share this award with you, Flora, and uh, how exciting is it this year to celebrate uh, 
two uh, female performances, it's really, it blows my mind. So I'm so, so happy to be here. I to thank the San Sebastian Film Festival, um, the jury. I love this festival so much. It's my second time here. And it means so much to me that you guys have acknowledged um, our film with this prize. Uh, I want to I th wanna thank Searchlight and David Greenbaum, who's here uh, tonight for being such a great partner and, and uh, uh, helping us to tell this story. Uh, my director, Michael Showalter, uh, for his guidance and his leadership in uh, bringing the uh, eyes of Tammy Faye to the world. Um, you know, in 2012, I first saw the documentary, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, and I was so blown away by her compassion and her love and um, what she stood for, her allyship to the um, LGBTQ community. And I hope the film reminds us to look beyond our first judgments, um, beyond the mascara, and to really acknowledge the woman uh, within. So. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias. And es queris casco. To award the Silver Shelf for the Best Direction, we have with us Audrey Duan. The Silver Shelf silver for the Best Director is for Thea Lindenburg for Has in Heaven. The prize will be received by the director, Thea Lindenburg. I have never won anything before in my life and to win this as the first thing ever is completely crazy. Um, first I want to thank the jury for this really honorable recognition and uh, you have no idea what this means to me. Thank you Jose Louis and the selection committee. Uh, for seeing the potential in this little film and for selecting it for this really great and beautiful festival. And thanks to San Sebastian Film Festival and everyone involved. Everyone has been so amazing and helpful. Um, then I must thank my lovely producers, Lise and Jesper. Thank you for believing in the project from the very beginning. Uh, when I came with this crazy uh, plotless film. Um, it's been a wild and intense, but mostly a wonderful journey. And I need to thank my commissioning editor at the Danish National Film Institute, um, Silje Riese Ness. I have been knocking on that door for 15 years, and finally someone came along who didn't want to change me or the stories that I tell. <coughs> so thank you so much. Flora, I couldn't have wished for a better girl to portray Lise. Um, you gave her everything that I could imagine and more. Um, I know it was hard, but we came through it, you and me. I also want to thank Ida Rasmussen, who plays the mother, um, she couldn't be here at the festival because she has just given birth a week ago, and uh, it was a complicated birth, and they both survived, but uh, we're very lucky to live in this part of the world in this time. Uh, last but not least, I want to thank my main uh, creative uh, collaborators. This was truly a labor of love. Um, 
I believe that the secret to being a good director is surrounding yourself with people who are more talented than yourself. So Marcellus Susken, my poetic cinematographer, uh, Jesper Clausen, my nerdy and detail-oriented production designer, Åse Mosberg, my sensitive editor, and Peter Albregsen, my wild sound designer. Thank you to my husband and kids for putting up with me, and I dedicate this award to my mother and my daughters. To present the jury special award, let's call Ted Hope once again. For its unique ambition and ability to explore the possibilities of cinema, to grasp the subconscious and confront the status quo, the special jury prize is for Lucille Haji Halibovich for Earwig. Lucille. To receive the award, uh, to receive the award, Lucille Hadziha Lilovich. Thank you. Tout d'abord, merci beaucoup à à ce jury. I want to thank the jury, this jury, which has rewarded a film which is silent and dark and long and also without a script. Above all, thank you very much to Jose Luis Rebordinos and his entire team for having selected this film with so much enthusiasm. And I also feel very happy for being here once again. This is the fifth time that I've participated in this festival and I've always had very good fortune and I've been very welcome. Thank you once again for this gift to coming back again to the festival. I feel very happy to see the film theatre full of people and all of those guests who have been come uh, to participate in this special decision. Long live the festival and I hope that next year the we can fill the film theatre for fin finally. And finally, the president of the jury, Dea Coulombe-Gashvili, will uh, present the gold shield to the best film. Um, so, golden shell for grasping the phantom of liberty and escapable violence of life and for uncompromising commitment to the language of cinema that explores awkward and courageous state of both youth and womanhood. The golden shell for the best film goes for, goes to Blue Moon by Alina Grigor. To receive the gold shell, we have with us the director and producer Alina Grigore and the producer Gabi Suciu. because I never expected this. <clears throat> In the name of the entire team that worked on Blue Moon, I would like to extend a massive, massive thanks for offering us the opportunity to share this story and its message with the rest of the world. I would like to thank my team, <clears throat> the festival and the jury for their passion and the leap of faith they took with this research project that aimed to have a different kind of storytelling by not following a storyline based on actions or events, but rather on the analysis of, human, of female psychological and emotional turmoil. Thank you to the ones who made this project possible. Gabi Suchu, Gabi Ursu, Christina and Mike Savuica, Yoyo, 
the main actress, Ioana Kitsu, but I call her Yoyo, Vlad Ivanov, Mircea Postelnicu, Adrian Pădurețu, Aifer Cadăr, Ioana Flora, Anastasia, Ioan, Melcu, Mircea, and last but not least, special cordials and thanks to my mother, Mariana, and the love of my life, my husband, Robi. Thank you, uh, the jury and the passionate people of the festival, Roberto, Aitor, Jose Luis, Robertinos. This award represents the courage of a team of artists to express in a different kind of way the feminine cre creativity and creativity in general. Thank you, Gabi. In the name of all my female colleagues, directors and producers, valued members of our creative, administrative and technical teams, a huge thank you to all those women and men who have offered us and are offering us the chance to collaborate so as to get our message as far as it can get. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Buenas noches. It's uh, great to be here live and alive. We've all gone through a lot in the past years. When we started making this film, our country was torn between two parties. Families was, were torn apart by ideologies. And we really felt like we needed to speak up and have this film sent out into the world. Then the pandemic came and everyone was silenced and put into their homes and no one could solve their problems anymore. Uh, this presence and everyone here and all the filmmakers here have proven that art cannot be silenced and we are very grateful for the immense work these people do and for the festival and festivals and San Sebastian Film Festival and all the work they put behind so that the films can be back on the big screens. Thank you very much. This was the immense work of 44 actors and 74 crew members that put their all to make this, uh, this film and this message uh, come to life. Thank you, everyone. And thank you, uh, Jose Luis Rebordinos. Thank you, the jury. And uh, thank you for all the selection committee. This is a great honor for us. And we are very, very, very uh, appreciative about this. Thank you. All that remains is to present the film for this closing ceremony, Las Leyes de la Frontera. Let's receive with a big round of applause the director Daniel Monzón and part of the crew, cast of the film, Begoña Vargas, Marco Ruiz, Checho Salgado and Jorge Guerrica Echevarria. Good evening and thank you very much. It's a genuine honor, a privilege, in fact, to close this brilliant 69th edition of the San Sebastian International Film Festival because I also understand that the, the closing film is, the, is a special gift. It's like the icing on the cake. So therefore, I hope that they can be presented in a film, a marvelous a film theater such as this, and want it to be a gift for the audience. And this is the best scenario possible, or stage possible, so the film can be seen for the first time before by the audience. I hope that you enjoy the film very much because it's been made for you. Jorge, please. Hi. Hi. And there are many reasons for which one can dedicate oneself to making films, but one of these, and not the least important, is to have the excuse to now and again come back to San Sebastian and to share with all of you, with this beautiful audience that loves cinema, the work we've done, so therefore I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.
We can't forget uh, the participation, obviously, of our institutions that have made it possible to be here, the town city, uh, the city council of Guipuzcoa, uh, the Basque government, and the ministry, the Spanish Ministry for Culture, and the uh, province of uh, the uh, institution of the province of Guipuzcoa. Without forgetting our official sponsors, Radio Televisión Española, and our media partner, Movistar, as well as the collaborators, official collaborators, Odi Cochabacanama. Just like the tigers in the north, seeing I didn't cross the ford, the border, the border cr crossed me. Well, let's uh, give a war embraces where the distance and separation occurs. The frontera will not be the end. It won't be a border. So therefore, because cinema enables us to, for all the frontiers and borders to be permeable, and it turns us into outlaws.